Namaste, Equid Angels! Welcome to our new learning episode. I am Teacher Nancy B. Pineda, your teacher for Grade 8 Mathematics. Good day, Equid Angels! We are now in the second part of our Week 1 lesson. Again, in this learning episode, we are expected to illustrate theorems on triangle inequalities. For this particular episode, we are going to discuss the Triangle Inequality Theorem. As we begin our lesson, kindly grab any three straight objects. It may be pencils, ball pens, or any straight objects. We will be using them for our short activity. Let us now proceed with our activity. And please be reminded that you may comment or ask questions at the comment section. You may type your name, section, school, and your answer. Let us begin. For those who do not have their three straight objects yet, you may pause this video for a while to find any three straight objects around you now. Let us now discover our new lesson. Do you have the three straight objects with you now? Pencils, ball pens, sticks, or any straight object will do. As we all know, a triangle is a polygon with three sides and three vertices or angles. I have a question for you. Can a triangle be formed with those three straight objects with you now? Now using those three objects with you, can you put them end to end to form a triangle? Try it yourself and see. I will give you 10 seconds to put them together or you may pause this video as you form the triangle. That's it! I know that some of you were able to form a triangle and some of you tried their best to form a triangle with the three objects they got but it didn't work. Don't be sad because you also did a great job. In the picture, just like what you did, a triangle can be formed using these three pencils. But will this always work? What if you have two really short pencils or sticks and one long pencil? Will the two short ones always have to be able to reach to form a triangle? You can see that the two short pencils aren't long enough to form a triangle. There are times when a triangle can be formed with the three given side lengths. Sometimes they would be very close to forming a triangle but not quite long enough. Or some sides are too long, resulting to a triangle with extended sides. That is why some of you weren't able to construct a triangle. You can take a picture of what you have created and send it to your math teacher. You can still take a picture of what you have created even if it didn't form a triangle. So how do we know if the three given side lengths can form a triangle without physically testing it out? We just discovered that when we put the two short sides end to end, they must be longer than the longest side. The triangle inequality theorem is just a more formal way to describe what we have just discovered. The triangle inequality theorem states that in a triangle, the sum of the lengths of any two sides is greater than the length of the third side. So if we're given a triangle and its side measurements to determine if we are going to form or construct a triangle or not, we have to apply the triangle inequality theorem. In order to do that, we have to add the two sides and compare it to the third side. So it must satisfy these three conditions. Given a triangle with sides ABC, add the two sides and compare it to the third side. We have A plus B must be greater than C, B plus C must be greater than A, and A plus C must be greater than B. Take note that the three statements must be true. If one of the given statements is false, then the given set of numbers cannot be used to construct or represent a triangle. As soon as one of the given statements is false, then the given set of numbers cannot be used to construct or represent a triangle. Let's have our first example. Can a triangle be constructed with sides of lengths 7 cm, 9 cm, and 13 cm? 
let's apply the triangle inequality theorem. Let's assume that side A is equal to 7 cm, side B is equal to 9 cm, and side C is equal to 13 cm. First, let's add the first and second side, 7 and 9. 7 plus 9 is 16. Is 16 greater than the third side, 13? Yes, 16 is greater than 13. So, it satisfies the inequality. Next, let's add the second and third side, 9 and 13. 9 plus 13 is 22. Now, is 22 greater than 7? Again, you are right. 22 is indeed greater than 7. Again, it satisfies the inequality. Lastly, let's add the first and third side and compare it to the second side. We have 7 and 13. 7 plus 13 is 20, and it is true that 20 is greater than 9. Since it satisfies the triangle inequality theorem, we can now conclude that a triangle can be constructed using the sides 7, 9, and 13. Okay, let's have another example. Can a triangle be constructed with sides of lengths 4 cm, 8 cm, and 15 cm? Let's see if we will form a triangle with these measurements. Again, let's apply the triangle inequality theorem. First, let's add the first and second side and compare it to the third side. First, let's add the first and second side, 4 and 8, and compare it to our third side, 15. 4 plus 8 is 12. Is 12 greater than the third side, 15? No. 12 is less than 15. So, it did not satisfy the inequality and it will not satisfy the triangle inequality theorem. Therefore, we can conclude that a triangle cannot be constructed with the sides with lengths 4, 8, and 15. Let us proceed to example number 3. We have the given measurements 6, 6, and 12. Can a triangle be constructed with the measures 6 cm, 6 cm, and 12 cm? Let us find out the sum of the first two sides. It's 6 plus 6. What is the third side? It is 12. And we know that 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. But the sum of the two sides has to be greater than the third side. It means that we cannot construct a triangle with sides 6, 6, and 12. Again, all the three conditions must be satisfied. In other words, as soon as you know that the sum of the two sides is less than or equal to the measure of the third side, then you know that the sides do not make up a triangle. Now that you know the important ideas and concepts about the triangle inequality theorem, let us now see what you have learned by answering this short activity. Are you ready? Again, you may type your answers on the comment section. Are you ready? Again, you may type your answers on the comment section. Take a screenshot of your answer and send it to your math teacher. For numbers 1 to 3, tell whether a triangle can be constructed with segments having these given lengths. Write yes if a triangle can be constructed or no if not. Don't forget to apply the conditions. Let us begin. Number 1, we have the side lengths 4, 11, and 10. Can we construct a triangle with these given lengths? Yes or no? For number 2, here are the given lengths. 9, 9, 9. Is it possible to construct a triangle with these given lengths? Yes or no? And that's it! Congratulations grade 8 learners for another excellent performance! Again, you may take a screenshot of your answers. And for your assignment, answer drill number 5 on page 5 from your instructional support. That is all for now. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson for today. Don't forget to send your answers to your respective math teacher. Again, this is Ms. Nancy Pipineda, your math 8 teacher. Until next time, have a nice day, be safe, and God bless us all!